Welcome Blackers. to welcome to a segment of Shiftcast. Okay. This is a portion okay. of the okay. main show. You can catch it here okay. on the YouTube channel or got on it, Spotify. Let's get I'm right passing, into it. But I'm excited to be back because you know we got a real English, real English football in the building today, Mr. Yeah. Toxic. Um, how's it going, boss? How you feeling? I'm chilling. Just got some busy, uh, busy days with Tawny's, but just had another moment. Starting and lost as well. But That's right. A lot going on. It's well, my control. <laughs> we've got, um, you know, Shift Summer League. This is your first time experiencing league play, right? Yeah, first time. Yeah, and your first week, <laughs> you've been dubbed the MVP. How does that feel? It was pretty good. I mean, I didn't really like expect to be first on the stats. Like I was just playing the game, <clears throat> the game like normal. But uh, yeah, I mean. I'll take it. I'll take those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's great to see what you can do with the team. And we are only a third of the way in. So I don't know. Where do you think you'll end up even? Well, like, oh, what do you mean? Like, well, where, in, this, in the league table? Or? Well, let, let's start here then. Where are you surprised to find yourself, the MVP, and to be in the place where you are right now in the competition. Um, hold on, I mean, hold on. Expect... Toxic. Uh, Breezy yeah. says you're on your bad mic. What? Like you, maybe I you have the, the bad mic selected? I, I bet you there's there's oh, there's no bad mic. There, there, but there might he be. He must be trolling. Is he trolling? Oh, no, you only no, have one got Oski now. Oski's also saying. Yeah, they're bad. definitely trolling. <laughs> well, if Oski oh, says right. it's definitely a troll, isn't it? Uh, he says he said uh, well it I'll, I'll tell you this it's definitely not the highest quality mic do you, can is it possible for it to be i can, I can try and check um... <laughs> this is great tech tech problems lando where are you <laughs> mr what's producer up, is this better has this changed at all well, already uh i mean that sounds okay um yeah when you when you uh, let's see. So you, you click the settings cog in our room right here. Yeah. And then um, your audio source. Is that the correct one? Wait, audio source. Oh, wait, I'm on my webcam, Mike. There's no way. There, you go. Oh, there, there it is. is. Uh, <laughs> there it is. All right, let me... Does this sound better at all? Oh, it's something. That's very different. Go easy, ask you. Thank you, fellas. <laughs> Thank you. You know, listen. This is UKRL, man. We keep our we, they they keep it they keep it clean here. Oh, I love that breezy oh, legend. Man. Save the stream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good um, stuff. Yeah, let's, go, let's go back to where we were. So, do you, yeah. You said you were a little surprised to find yourself week one EU MVP. Yeah. Playing your normal game. Um, you're playing alongside Matane and Arju, who've been teaming for I mean a long time now. Mm -hmm. How has it been sliding in with those guys as their third? I mean, I used to sub for them on Misfits, like two or three years ago, I reckon. Yeah. Um, so, like, it was quite easy because I knew them before. And, um, yeah, I'd say we had a decent split. Like, we missed one regional, but we also made a top eight, which was my first top one, uh, top eight. So, it was all right. Yeah, it was a decent first split with them. And uh, in terms of, like, you know, obviously, Endpoint, the roster, everyone kind of expected that you guys would be in the league. But mm -hmm. especially, like, obviously, like, before we knew that there weren't going to be the, some of the top teams playing, everyone kind of assumed you guys would qual, but then you got invited. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of people were kind of saw you as like a, a fringe playoff team, like within that four to eight range. Um, for you personally, I know you probably didn't feel that way. So going into this was, uh, you know, going four and two those first two days, taking, you know, the prohibited favorite and beating them early in the tournament. How, how has it been? Like, do you guys, is this what you thought you were going to do or you think or did you think it was going to be a little more of a scrum than it has been in europe where a lot of teams are doing quite well um i mean it's been an interesting one like there's been quite a few like upsets i feel like but that's just like off-season tourneys yeah i'd say like a lot of different teams um are just surprising the better teams which we've also maybe lost to arguably worse teams like it's just how it is like it's hard to go flawless in a league play i feel like mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of how league play works, right? You don't really yeah. need to win every game to get to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. You just need to win yeah. more than you lose. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Wise words. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, kind of going back to what we were talking about with this being your first league play, you started kind of playing as a pro, right? Like kind of as league play ended. So it wasn't like you were going to, you know, you weren't around for that era. Um how has it been in terms of like the flow and like how you're practicing 
Um, is it different than the open circuit? And, and, and do you like it more? Do you like it less? Like, what are your kind of thoughts now that you've had a week settled into this sort of longer, more, I guess, maybe forgiving, but also one that's a lot more, um, you're likely to lose to maybe teams you might not lose to in an open, in an open format. I mean, league play just forces you to play consistent on every day. Mm. Um, and then, like, if you're not consistent, you'll like drop games against like the lower teams. Um, but I mean, practice just basically stays the same grinding, playing scrims. Um, it's just basically the same. It's just a different format, but it's fun to play because I haven't played it before. So let, let me follow up with this then. Do, do you guys, and you've said it's basically the same. So I, I'm guessing I know the answer here, but do you guys treat it any different because you know who you're going to play on Monday or Tuesday? You know who you're going to play on Wednesday. Whereas, you know, when you roll into Swiss on RLCS day one, you know, your first round matchup, but then from there you have no clue. So do you guys, do you guys kind of game plan at all? Do you maybe watch some of those scrims or maybe a coach does? Does that change any of your preparation process? Um, I mean, no, we just kind of went in and just like, if we yeah. play better, we'll just beat them. That's all we've done. Sure. Um, but me personally, like, I'll just like look at the team that we're playing against and like, you kind of know what to expect mm -hmm. from a lot of players, but the like lower type of players, it's kind of harder to read. But I think we haven't, I think we played like, most of the top six teams in the tournament in the league play yeah. so far so we still got to play like the three lowest ones um just off the rankings there so yeah i'll look forward to that tomorrow so yeah and then um i guess in terms of in terms of the confidence now like we talked about you guys thought you're going to come in and dominate but you know you come in and like like you said you play a bunch of games it's an off-season tournament things can get weird it's different team comps new teams do you guys feel more more confident now than you were at the beginning, or is it just par for the course? We're going to come and we're going to dominate. We're all good to go. Um, I mean, I didn't know what to expect going into this. So, like, we just, I don't know, it gives me more confidence because, obviously, we've beaten the better team. So, realistically, we should win more series now um, than, like, we are expecting to. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. <laughs> Have there been any teams that surprised you when you played them, uh, you know, for better or worse, mm -hmm. that you were like, damn, I didn't I didn't think they were going to come out like this? Or has it been mostly the same quality as the main RLCS times you played them? Um, 100%. Uh, like, they're a really strong team right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they've just been, like, dominating like crazy, I feel like. Especially against us. We literally couldn't get the ball. They were just bumping us. <laughs> it was so hard to play against. But um, Rizex's team also surprised me. I can't remember what their team name is. Fake, they they were pretty good as well. Yeah, yeah, they're they're really good, but they're the only teams we've lost to at yeah. the moment. And from a viewer perspective, it seems like Endpoint has this rivalry with Resolve, right? <laughs> Do yeah. you feel that way as well? Because you're you're playing them tomorrow as 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 this is live, the second round of the Tuesday. Um, I say it's like a lot of people think it's bigger than it actually is. Um, like after it got made out on Twitter, like it was quite big, but. It's kind of just, I don't know, it's just a little team beef. Yeah, it's I mean, really I can much. imagine it's fun to have the British orgs kind yeah, of go yeah. up against each other, right? Of course. See, yeah, here's the thing, you guys need to lean into that, <laughs> amp it up, you know, make it seem like it's bigger than it really is. Yeah. Only when he wins, of course, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of the British orgs, one of the things that we want to talk about was, obviously, there was a lot of talk about the teams that weren't playing in the Shift Summer League, but... You know, we talked about it on this show that we wanted to talk more about the teams that were and more the fact that we hear about this all the time. People love to talk about the Europe's depth, but sometimes it seems like it's kind of in bad faith where it's like they're just saying that to shit on other regions. Excuse my language. Um, I think with this tournament, you're actually seeing that this isn't just like a talking point, that these are all very strong teams. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of wanted to get your opinion on that, where like, do you feel like just watching and playing that it's kind of just reiterating the fact that Europe you know, we've seen the the top French teams at all these lands the last year and a half, but there really is a ton of talent. And, you know, those top teams that are at the top, they, they could lose. I mean, they have lost to these teams all the time. Like, how do you feel like this has kind of shown the, the quality, the top-down quality of Europe uh, being able to play all these matches instead of just going out 0-3 in Swiss or 1-3 in Swiss? Um, well, because I think in this one you play each other twice, don't you? Mm -hmm. So, like, you're going to get more chances to play against the good teams. Yep. And, like... It, qualifiers aren't easy as well. Like there's some teams which didn't even make it, like Belagol, Fast Forward. Oh yeah. Like they didn't make it because there's just quite a bit of depth in EU. Um, so I guess like also with it not being RCS, there's I guess in a sense less pressure. So like the players will probably play better, like the lower ones, and then they'll like end up taking uh, games off the top teams. 
Uh, to build on that point, I think there's also like some maybe a little bit less pressure in the fact that you know you have three more weeks. Yeah, like, exactly. Right, like when you qualify for your RLCS event, you've all you've got is this Friday, and and you know maybe it's only three games. Uh, but this right here, you know, once you've made it in, you know, you're for sure going to get double round robin, like you said, a chance, two chances at every single team. So it yeah. probably allows some of those players that may have more nerves and may not be as experienced at that level to kind of settle in and, and maybe play a little bit better than they would uh, outside of RLCS. Um, you guys have any more shift summer league questions? If not, I've, I've got some questions I'm, I'm curious to hear. I mean, well, we're talking about this double round robin where you're yep. facing every other team twice. D are you looking for revenge when you're losing uh, a series, like, for example, to 100% or something like that, you know? Yeah, you definitely want to play them again. Just like, oh, yeah. let that one up on them, especially the second time around. Because <laughs> then if you head into playoffs and play them again, you have, I guess, the edge, maybe? Yeah, so, and it becomes yeah. a grudge match, right? Exactly, yeah. I got one, I got one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking square about. Up now. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. Um, yeah. On the You're gonna other have side, to be careful you... for Oxygen and Lily yeah, Galaxy. That's right. They want oh, to have yeah. that revenge of you. <laughs> yeah, they will for sure. <laughs> but Especially when you find the players. Yeah. Is is it fun like going up against them, like Oxygen? Obviously, you have you have relationships with the guys on that team. Beating them the first time, like, are you looking forward to playing them again? Like, beat them a second time, really just rub it in. <laughs> It'll be fun. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Love it. That's funny. <laughs> well, man, incredible performance throughout the first week of Shift Summer League. Uh, I'm excited to see you guys take the field again. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, so for the people that uh, are, are maybe didn't watch, uh, Fear hosted an, an anonymous 1v1 tournament, and Toxic was one of the players. Uh, he filled in last moment for somebody that had to drop out on the NA servers. And um, was was did you only have one match? Um, no, I had two. Two matches, okay. Yeah. Um, so, But I, I want to ask you about Vulcan. So anyways, the, the, the tournament unfolded. They all had just bought Rocket League usernames, Vulcan, Merc, whatever. Um, and so the players didn't know who they were playing. And the fans didn't know who was on both sides, right? And uh, Fear fielded answers from the chat. He fielded answers from each player guessing who was one another. Um, and it was revealed that the player that everyone across the board thought was first killer was actually Appjack. And... Um, I, I was actually, I, I was certain it was first killer as well. And I know Toxic was in the stream watching the reveal. And he said something to the lines of like, you don't, you don't know how shocked I am. I can't believe this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, Fear said that Toxic even sent his message like halfway through the game. Yeah. and was like, this is definitely okay. first killer. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about that experience, um, like playing an anonymous player versus kind of having that preconceived notion. Like when you load in against Razier's or you load in against Nas, you know these players' tendencies, you're thinking about your past games, et cetera. What is it like when you load in versus someone and you don't have any idea who it is? Um, well, for the example, like the first round I played AJ and I could just see him like wave dashing, like zap dashing yeah. everywhere. I could just tell. Like, yeah. <laughs> so like in my head, like I know, like I kind of know how he plays. Because right. like when you're a top ones player, you just know how each yeah. other plays. Well, you guys keep playing um, each other. Yeah, exactly. Even like across servers, like you just know. Right, right. Um, but then like, with Jack, I just I was so convinced it was first killer. Maybe yeah. like I went back on the stream the first day and checked, and like I think the whole chat thought it was first killer as well. So yep. maybe that played in my mind. Sure. So like I went into that series thinking I was playing first killer or Daniel or something. <laughs> and bro, he had like the best control, like everything. He's just doing perfect. Yeah. I can't believe it. Like I actually it, felt unbeatable. Watching it, watching it to me, um, it looked like it was a player that leaned heavily on pace and, and like powerful touches, you know, striking yeah. it when maybe you're not expecting a power shot. And, and he would just, I mean, he scored multiple times from past the halfway line. And I feel like that's just such a first killer thing to do is outspeed you and then just hit the ball with unbelievable power. Um, yeah. And I was, I was the same way. I felt so there was two that I thought for sure. I knew I thought Vulcan was um, first killer, but I thought, I don't, I think it was Samurai. It ended up being Swift, but I thought Swift was AJ. And it was for the same mm. stuff. It was like wave dashing. Yeah. The way that he moves around looked very similar to AJ. Mm. Um, but I thought that was so funny because even the players were struggling to guess one another, except for a couple that are just very obvious in their style. Yeah. yeah. Just quickly. So 
Uh, so what did you expect? What, what, if I'm, if I'm, cause I obviously suck at the game. How do you, <laughs> how do you, like how, why you said the guy, like the Jack was playing with a lot of pace. He's he was just booming the ball. What were you, what do you expect? Like, what, what, what was the difference? Cause I, I mean, if I loaded in against both of them, it'd be 13, oh, yeah, nothing course. before I could blank. So I don't really know, but like, what's, what's the Jack play style? Does he have a really, right. really unique one? Um, I mean, with Jack, like, he just like plays really smart. He doesn't really overcommit. Mm -hmm. Um, like he just play for a lot of fifties, which the Vulcan did do, but I didn't really pick up on it. Um, but yeah, it was just the amount of times he was going in the air. Like I was like, "There's no way this is Jack. It has to be first killer. <laughs> There's no way because he's actually like scoring flip resets and everything." <laughs> and I, I'm not nah, like no, not to Jack, but uh, that's just what first killer does. Yeah. Um, do you think he's been poisoned by being in the lobby <laughs> with him all the time? Maybe. No, maybe. Yeah. 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 He's like, Do you think Jack's trying to mix it up to get? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, nobody <laughs> yeah, knew it literally. Right. He's hey, probably played a thousand times uh, against first and just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go play first ball today because <laughs> why not? Maybe first skill played on his account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Investigate him. <laughs> Imagine ah. drama. <laughs> okay, final question though. Do you think Jack needs to hop on Octane? Yes, he does. <laughs> nah, when he when he was like coming up and actually becoming like really good, he was on Octane. Yeah, yeah. he switched. But I mean, he won a major in Fennec. Sure. Yeah, that's why. But he should definitely try and go back. I, mean, you, I can't you, imagine the type of placebo you'd have if you won a major. Yeah, on Yeah, that's car. fair. That's fair. You know, like... all, all these players were on like brand new accounts that hmm. um, you know they weren't. They don't fear they want like friends having you know linked up between alt accounts hmm. or something. So they. They didn't have the Finnick, you know, all they had was like the three default cars. And so of mm -hmm. course everyone was rocking the Octane, but yeah, yeah. Jack was definitely balling out. He played really well. Um, I did want to ask you about that. Cause I was, the, I was, you're, you're right. Like the whole chat, everybody, we were, we were all so confident that it was, it was FK the way he was moving. And, and even like you're saying, like the decisions to go for certain styles of plays felt very much like, like uh, FK. I'm so shocked um, now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I'm still He's shocked still... now. It's crazy to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. actually. So, um, there's also an EU version going on. Obviously, Fox is not going to share any information about that. That would ruin it. Uh, but there's an EU version going on now. So, if any of y'all are interested in, in something like that, Fear has been broadcasting those over the past... I guess he started today, and, and it will continue over the next day or two. So, y'all can tune into that. Um, I love that. I think that's a really cool idea. What do you think about... Um, I see someone in the chat here saying like anonymous twos or threes turning. What do you think about that? Is that just too many players? It's too chaotic. Maybe it doesn't um, hit the same. Cause I thought I, this was great content. I think it could work. It's also fun to play. Cause right. Like I feel like there'd be certain few people, which you could tell like sure. Zen, you could just tell, I feel like, sure, sure, um, sure. but yeah, it depends on the players that play it. And also yeah. like, you might just find some like underrated duos in there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's I another think, think, concept to try. That's another thing he talked funny. about was um, like when you do the anonymity thing, um, even the community removes all your preconceived notions and your biases, right? You're just watching this car. And so you're, you know, you're either really impressed by a player that is a, maybe a not so big name. Um, Fear referenced like the first time he did it, um, Diaz was very impressive and, and not many people knew who Diaz was at the time. And obviously, Abjack's very, a very decorated player at this point, but I think even now people were impressed by his run. So I think that's a good point yeah. as well. I feel like, uh, I feel like there's other esports where like pro players will like purposely do that. I feel like in more like strategy based ones. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they'll so. like just have burners to like work on whatever strategies they have so that other people don't know it's them. Um, so they don't, they can't just get intel on like, in like lot, like high, lo high level lobbies. And I always wonder if that was going to come to Rocket League because it's true. Like, if if Jack just was playing like first killer on a fake account for three weeks, he could pull up to a two, uh, a one tournament, play like that, and everyone would be like, why? Like, what happened? Why is he doing that? Like, he, he's not playing like he used to, but he's had weeks. Do you think that'll ever happen? Talks like that, you'll have players actually going so far as to not like let people know who they are in ranked, or is do they love their skins too much? Do they love to uh, no, nah, I don't think it would ever go that far. I think yeah. people just don't really care as, as much to do that in this game. Maybe in other games, I don't really know about other games, it, but... It also is partly what you're talking about, where it's like <clears throat> Rocket League is so execution-oriented rather than <clears throat> strategy-based, you know? It's not like there's like five layers of tactics that you're rolling through, you know, for this certain thing. It's just like the, this player is is doing X and 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 
you know, are they executing well or not? Um, so it may not, it may not be as beneficial here. Um, all right. Well, Hey, unless you guys have any other questions, we'll, uh, we'll let toxic roll up out of here. Yeah. I got one toxic. What's endpoints, uh, final record in the shift summer league going to be? You're at four and two Ooh. right now. Four and two, four two right, right now. now. Going off of that, I'll say we lose six. And I don't even know how many wins there is. I can't win even think of no, yeah. well, Wait, 12, yeah. <laughs> my brain is broken. Is it 12? Right. Yeah, 12, yeah. 12 and six. Well, Which we, we should make playoffs. With that. Oh, you'll be like yeah, three probably. or four seed. Dude. Yeah, you'll okay. be chilling, man. Yeah, I'll say 12 yeah. and six. All right. You've, All right. We've played quite a couple of teams now. Who do you think like is your biggest rival at the moment? Rival? Probably 100% because I want to beat them so bad again. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, revenge God. arc. I love that. Yeah. Um, Not yeah, even Oxygen or Luna Galaxy. I like it. One one more thing from the from the chat. Um, I don't know if you've been watching uh, the North American one, but any team stick out to you from NA? Not like there's the best, but just what team maybe you're like, damn, like they're, they're, they kind of surprised me there. Has Incorrect been a team that's been doing pretty good recently? Yeah. I think I saw yeah, them do well, yeah. Yeah, they're quite exciting to watch. <clears throat> they beat Genji, didn't they? That's right. Yep, they beat yeah. Genji. And one yep. mic went crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm also, uh, I'm happy for memory. Doing well, too. Yeah, <laughs> rocks, dude. Old man still got it, I guess. Old man at, what, 23? Younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Old man, jeez, bro. <laughs> Chill. No, but it's fun. That's what I love about this league stuff is it's like, you know, you don't get this usually because people like you never play with your sub when it matters so much. But it's like now you can be uh, now you can be like, oh, we went three and three and we're getting our we're getting two piece back. Like if you're a fan, you're like, we, we're getting yeah, it's true, like when one of your top one of the top players for your mm -hmm. team comes back after they've been playing pretty well. Uh, we only turned 22 in January. What an unk. What an unk. <laughs> we, we got uh, we got one final question here from the chat. Uh, Oski RL, he asks, do you think you will be able to beat the team on top of the league, a.k.a. Oxygen Esports? I'll make sure we will. Of course. <laughs> Let's go. Of course. Fighting of course, of course they will. Man. Oski, man, uh, Toxic, thank you thank you so much for um, carving some time out for us today. Congratulations on MVP for the first week. That's, that's awesome stuff, man. Thank Best you, of luck uh, for the remainder of Shift Summer League. Before you get out of here, we're going to turn the floor over to you. If you want to say, uh, you know, any plugs, any shout outs or anything at all, go ahead and do so now. Uh, just go follow my Twitter and TikTok at ToxicRL. Thank there you very it much is. for having me. Thank you for tuning in to He's low. He's low. You can catch the full episode here on the YouTube channel or on Spotify. Yeah, no, catch you next yeah, time. No, I'm bummed. I'm bummed. Good comes, Hoodie. <laughs>